Discovery of natural gas in Andaman Sea. The Andaman Sea is located on India's eastern coast. Most of the islands in the Andaman Sea fall under India's jurisdiction. India will host the World Seafood Congress in 2026. This event will be held in Chennai. The WSC is a major platform for discussions in the seafood trade sector. Two wetlands from Bihar have been designated as Ramsar sites. These wetlands are the Gokul Reservoir in Baksar and Udaipur Lake in West Champaran. With this, the total number of Ramsar sites in India has increased to 93. The Central Pollution Control Board has released a report on the quality of rivers. According to the report, water quality in several major rivers, including the Ganga, has deteriorated. Maharashtra has the highest number of polluted river stretches. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has launched the Swachh Shehar Jodi Initiative. This initiative is a structured mentorship and collaborative action program. The program includes 72 mentor cities and approximately 200 mentee cities. Recently, natural gas has been discovered in the Andaman Basin. This discovery confirms the long-standing consumption that the Andaman Sea is rich in natural gas. It is noteworthy that the Andaman Sea is a marginal sea in the northeastern Indian Ocean. It is located between the eastern coast of India and the Malay Peninsula. To the north of it is Myanmar and to the south is the Indonesian island of Sumatra. This is a complex geological region with a tectonically active plate boundary. It is part of the large Sunda plate whose boundaries meet the Indian plate in the northwest and the Australian plate in the southeast. The most prominent geological feature of this region is the Andaman Trench, which was formed by the subduction of the Indian plate beneath the Eurasian plate. This region is home to extensive coral reef systems, seagrass meadows and mangrove forests, which provide vital habitats for various marine species. It is also an important site for migratory birds. Most of the islands located in the Andaman Sea are part of the India's Union Territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, while the Koko Islands and the Preparis Islands are part of Myanmar's Yangon region. Recently, NASA launched the Intercellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe. Through this, it will be discovered how solar particles gain energy and shield us. The goal of the Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe is to map the boundary of the heliosphere, detect energetic particles, and improve space weather forecasting. It is worth mentioning that the heliosphere is a vast bubble created by the solar wind that surrounds our entire solar system. IMAP will assist in real-time observation of solar wind and energetic particles, which can create hazardous conditions in the near-Earth space environment. IMAP is located at the first Lagrange point between Earth and the Sun, which is about 1 million miles from Earth towards the Sun. It will also send data in near real-time to help scientists monitor space weather conditions. NASA, short for National Aeronautics and Space Administration, is an independent agency of the U.S. federal government responsible for civilian space programs, aeronautics and space research. It was established under the National Aeronautics and Space Act of 1958. India will host the World Seafood Congress to be held in the year 2026. It will be organized in Chennai. The World Seafood Congress is a major platform for discussion on seafood trade, safety, innovation and sustainability. This Congress has earlier been organized in countries such as Canada, the Netherlands, Australia, Ireland, Morocco, the USA, the UK, Iceland, Malaysia and Portugal. The upcoming edition is being jointly organized by the Department of Fisheries under the Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy, Government of India and the International Association of Fish Inspectors, a non-governmental organization recognized by the United Nations. It should be mentioned that a trade fair will also be organized at the World Seafood Congress. In this, the latest innovations in seafood processing equipment, cold chain, packaging, testing analysis and certification will be showcased. It is noteworthy that India has emerged as a major player in global seafood markets. 
At present, at the global level, India is the sixth largest exporter of seafood and the second largest producer of fish through aquaculture. In the financial year 2023-24, India exported about 1.78 million tons of seafood products worth approximately 7.38 billion US dollars. Recently, two wetlands from Bihar have been designated as Ramsar sites. These include the Gopal Reservoir in Baksar and the Udaipur Lake in West Champaran. With this, the total number of Ramsar sites in India has increased to 93. It is noteworthy that in terms of the total number of Ramsar sites, India ranks first in Asia and third in the world after the United Kingdom and Mexico. Notably, the Gokul Reservoir is located in Baksar district of Bihar. Its area is 448 hectares. On the other hand, the Udaipur Lake is located in West Champaran district of Bihar. Its area is 319 hectares. Ramsar sites are wetlands of international importance designated under the Ramsar Convention of 1971. This is an intergovernmental treaty adopted on 2nd February 1971 in the Treaty of Ramsar, Iran. India joined the convention in 1982. In India, the wetlands are protected under the Wetlands Conservation and Management Rules 2017. Additionally, to address the threats to fragile wetland ecosystems and to enhance their conservation, the National Wetland Conservation Programme was launched in 1985. Every year, 2nd February is celebrated as World Wetlands Day. The theme for this day in 2025 is protecting wetlands for our common future. Recently, the Cold Desert Biosphere Reserve in Himachal Pradesh has been included in UNESCO's World Network of Biosphere Reserves. This cold desert biosphere reserve is located at a high altitude in the Trans-Himalayan region. It spans approximately 7,770 square kilometers in the Lahul Spiti district of Himachal Pradesh. It was declared a biosphere reserve in 2009. The area includes wind-swept plateaus, glacial valleys, alpine lakes and rugged high-altitude deserts. It is India's first high-altitude cold desert biosphere reserve and one of the coldest and driest ecosystems in UNESCO's WNBR. With this addition, there are now 13 biosphere reserves listed in India's UNESCO World Network of Biosphere Reserves. This cold desert biosphere reserve includes the Pin Valley National Park and its surrounding area, Chandratal, Sarchu and Kibber Wildlife Sanctuary. It is home to 732 species of vascular plants, including 30 endemic and 157 near-endemic species of the Indian Himalayas. This cold desert ecosystem is home to strong alpine grasses, medicinal herbs and rare plants like willow-leaved sea buckthorn, Himalayan birch and Persian juniper. The reserve is inhabited by animals such as leopards, Himalayan ibex, blue sheep, Himalayan wolf, and birds like the Himalayan snowcock and golden eagle. Recently, for the first time, the presence of Bedom's cat skink and Kutiyur de gecko was recorded in the Aralam and Kutiyur wildlife sanctuaries. This information came to light during a biodiversity survey conducted from 20th to 23rd September by the Malabar Wildlife Awareness and Rescue Center in these wildlife sanctuaries. It is noteworthy that Bedom's cat skink is also known as Bedom's ristella. It is a small reddish-brown lizard with curled toes. This species is considered rare and endemic to the Western Ghats region. As for the Kotiyu de gecko, it is a critically endangered species that was discovered in 2014 after remaining unknown for decades. It is important to note that the Aralam Wildlife Sanctuary spans an area of 55 square kilometers in the Western Ghats. It was declared a sanctuary in 1984. The sanctuary has tropical evergreen forests, semi-evergreen forests, southern tropical moist deciduous forests, and southern hill evergreen forests. The sanctuary is home to 16 species of amphibians, 23 species of mammals, 188 species of birds, 22 species of reptiles, and 39 species of fish. As for the Kutiyur Wildlife Sanctuary, it was declared a sanctuary by the Kerala government in 2011. It is located adjacent to the Tiger Sanctuary on the Karnataka border, the Bandipur National Park. Recently, the Central Pollution Control Board released an assessment report. According to it, the water quality of many major rivers, including the Ganges, has deteriorated. 
The major rivers where a decline in water quality was observed include Jhelum in Jammu and Kashmir, Ganga, Ram Rekha and Sikhrana in Bihar, Hasteo, Mahanadi in Chhattisgarh, Sal and Mapusa in Goa, Kaveri, Tungabhadra in Karnataka, Periyar in Kerala and Amba and Savitri in Maharashtra. It also includes stretches of Krishna in Telangana and Kosi in Uttarakhand. Maharashtra continues to have the highest number of polluted river stretches. It is important to note that polluted river stretches refer to sections of the river with two or more continuous polluted spots. The CPCB identifies stretches with a biochemical oxygen demand of more than 3 mg per litre as polluted. BOD levels above the prescribed level indicate a high pollution load, which is particularly harmful to aquatic life. However, the report also highlights some positive aspects. For example, the number of polluted river stretches in India has decreased from 311 to 296. As for the CPCB, it was established as a statutory organization under the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1974. The key functions of the Central Pollution Control Board are described under the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1974 and the Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981. Recently, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has launched the Swachh Shehar Jodi Initiative. This initiative is a structured mentorship and collaborative action program. It includes 72 mentor cities and approximately 200 mentee cities. Under this initiative, based on the recent performance in the Swachh Sarvekshan ranking, the top performing cities have been identified as mentor cities and paired with lower performing mentor cities. It has been implemented under the Swachh Bharat Mission Urban. Its objective is to share knowledge and experience, learn from peers, and change practices in sanitation and waste management in urban India. Through this initiative, lower performing cities will be assisted in improving their sanitation performance by leveraging the experiences of mentor cities. Under this initiative, mentor cities are those that were top performers ranked 1, 2 or 3 in the Swachh Sarvekshan 2022, 2023 and 2024. The selection of mentee cities will be based on the cities that were lower in the latest Swachh Sarvekshan ranking in the state cumulative ranking. The pairing of cities will be made on the basis of their geographical proximity to each other. After the news, let's take a quick look at five questions related to the bulletin. Question 1. Consider the following statements with reference to the Bedome Cat Skink. 1. Bedome Cat Skink is also called Bedome Stressella. 2. It is a small reddish brown lizard with curled claws. 3. This species is considered rare and endemic to Eastern Ghats region. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None of these. Question 2. Consider the following statements with reference to the interstellar mapping and acceleration probe. 1. NASA has launched the interstellar mapping and acceleration probe. 2. Through this, it will be determined how solar particles gain energy. 3. It is located at the first Lagrange point of the Earth-Sun system. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only 1 B. Only 2 C. All 3 D. None of these Question 3. Consider the following statements with reference to the Andaman Sea. 1. Natural gas has been discovered in the Andaman Basin. 2. It is located between the eastern coast of India and the Malay Peninsula. 3. This area is home to extensive coral reef systems, seagrass meadows and mangrove forests. How many of the above statements are incorrect? A. Only 1 B. Only 2 C. All 3 D. None of these Question 4. Consider the following statements with reference to the polluted river stretch. 1. Maharashtra has the highest number of polluted river stretches. 2. In polluted river stretches, BOD is greater than 3 mg per litre. 3. For example, the number of polluted river stretches in India has decreased from 311 to 200. How many of the above statements are incorrect? A. Only 1 B. Only 2 C. All 3 D. None of these Question 5. Consider the following statements with reference to the Swachh Shehar Jodi Initiative. 1. This initiative is a structured mentorship and collaborative action program. 2. It includes 72 mentor cities and approximately 200 mentee cities. Which of the above statements is or are correct? A. Only 1 B. Only 2 C. Both 1 and 2 
D. Neither one, not two. Please provide your answers in the comments section. But before we go, let's take a look at some small yet important news. Recently, Lieutenant General Virender Vats took over as the Director General of the National Cadet Corps. His appointment has been made in place of Lieutenant General Gurbirpal Singh. It is noteworthy that NCC is the largest uniformed youth organization in the world. The NCC was formed in 1948 on the recommendation of the H. N. Kunzru Committee, 1946. In 1949, the girls' division was also included. NCC falls under the Ministry of Defence and is led by a Director General with a three-star military rank. Recently, a new species of coffee plant called Ophiorhiza echinata was found in Western Ghats. Its discovery was made in the biodiverse Shola forests of Devikulam in the Idukki district of Kerala. It is noteworthy that coffee cultivation in India is mainly done in Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, and Odisha, with Karnataka producing more than 70% of the total output. Coffee cultivation requires a hot and humid climate. Well-drained loamy soil rich in humus and minerals is ideal for coffee farming. Recently, a ship caught fire in the Gulf of Aden due to a suspected missile attack by the Houthi rebels of Yemen. The Gulf of Aden is an extension of the Indian Ocean located between the Arabian Peninsula and the African continent. This gulf connects the Red Sea to the Arabian Sea through the Bab al Mandeb Strait. The gulf is named after the port of Aden on the Yemeni coast. It is one of the largest natural harbors in the world with an area of about 70 square kilometers. On 2 October, International Day of Non-Violence was celebrated. International Non-Violence Day is observed on October 2, the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi. It was established by the United Nations General Assembly in 2007 to promote the message of non-violence through education and public awareness. This proposal was supported by more than 140 countries at the United Nations. Mahatma Gandhi was born on 2 October 1869 in Porbandar, Gujarat. He played a significant role in the independence of the country. Recently, Australia has approved the drug lecanemab for early Alzheimer's disease. It is a monoclonal antibody drug for the treatment of the early stages of Alzheimer's. It is designed to slow the early progression of Alzheimer's by targeting amyloid proteins in the brain. It was developed not just to relieve symptoms but to address the underlying cause of the Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a brain disorder that gradually destroys memory and thinking abilities. Recently, India has been re-elected to part 2 of the Council of the International Civil Aviation Organization. ICAO is a UN specialized agency established in 1944 by the International Civil Aviation Convention known as the Chicago Convention. It is dedicated to developing safe and efficient international air transport for peaceful purposes. It has 193 member countries. Its headquarters is in Montreal, Canada. That's all for now in this bulletin. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Drishti IIS's Hindi and English YouTube channels.